This is SK Farms 2020 uh, spring tillage. This is one of their 8235Rs pulling a uh, probably a 20 foot uh, S Tine field cultivator. He's leveling up some ground in front of a 8285R pulling a six bottom reversible mold board plow. This field was dissed and had a chisel plow around over it uh, last week. And now they're doing the final preps on it. My guess this is going this field is going to be going into uh, summer crop tomatoes, but it could be for peanuts, but I don't believe it will be. I believe this is going to be a tomatoes. This is one of the few videos I'm actually getting to shoot this year. Uh, it's going to be a very, very slim pickings unless they um, remove this stay-at-home order in the state of Georgia. It's up to a $1,500 fine if you get caught doing non-essential tasks out in the public. Farming is an essential task, but filming farming is not considered a, a, an essential task. And I do not come anywhere close to making enough on YouTube to pay for a $1,500 ticket. So I'm limiting my videoing in the state of, to the state of Florida right now. got this 8235 working on one side of the road and I've got a, their other 8235 pulling a dirt pan behind me. Grading off a road. While he's on the other side of the road, I'm going to kind of zoom back out and then pan around slowly so I don't make y'all drunk. And now you're starting to see this dirt road that I'm looking down right here. This is State Line Road. Everything on your right is Florida, everything on your left is Georgia. And this is tomatoes. And this is one of their 6115Ds with a herbicide applicator it sprays herbicide in between the rows of the tomatoes or beds and you can see there another 8235R with a dirt pan running and you can see all the tomato plants now this is a fairly small field it might be 25 acres 30 but they've got several more of them this is just one of them 
I just cut the video off. I wasn't going to have y'all suffer through the pan around. I know those things can make you kind of drunk feeling. Like I said, if you see everything in the background, the tree line, uh, that starts uh, my property. Or the Terrell Farm. This whole property is considered the Terrell Farm, but we do not own all of it. S and K just calls it the Terrell Farm. But the actual Terrell Farm starts where you see the tree line in the background. That was my great grandfathers and grandfathers after him. And it's old center pivots right in the middle of the right in the way, but this is some leftover damage from Hurricane Michael. And this is a uh, I believe this is just a 15 foot unrefer perfected two field cultivator. They use a lot of these things in the area. They're, they're very popular. Yeah, I'd be willing to bet that this field is going into summer crop tomatoes if I had to guess. And the main reason why I would say that is because they have not gotten this irrigation system fixed in this field. And I don't foresee them wanting to plant dry land peanuts unless they absolutely have to. going around an irrigation riser for these uh, tomatoes. All these tomato crops are usually fed from underground irrigation pipes that pop up and then they lay pipes in the field to feed the individual beds. Well thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe and check out some of my other videos on YouTube under South Georgia Farm. Thanks for watching and stay safe.